Previously on Revelations 2, someone left a message. Welcome to the Kierling, where all things come to life. I'm not noticing you are speaking. I'm just learning to see what works here. I did what I thought was right. We'll know each other inside. You're perfect. <coughs> Six months from now, you're going to awaken as me. And the world is going to be very afraid. So good night, my darling. Sleep well. All this time wasted. My whole life has been a prelude to this. My true birth. Time to meet the cause of our misery. What is this place? Doesn't matter. Let's find the Overseer. Hey, Shotgunners! It is 12 Gauge Samurai. And finally, we have come to the conclusion of the Resident Evil Revelations 2 series and we'll find out what happened to Moira and Claire what happened to them before those six months before Barry actually showed up we're finally gonna square off with Alex Wesker you know before her untimely uh, mutation so uh, we'll Maybe we'll have like a great final battle with her. Maybe like fuck her up somewhat and you know, to show, you know, maybe that's, that's how we uh, turned her into what she is today. I'm sure of it. I mean, we're definitely not gonna fight Natalia for sure. Cause I have a, I have a feeling that Barry will be the one to fight uh, Natalia and hopefully, you know, we won't have to kill her. Cause I, I, I like her. You know, you know, and she just pulled into different circumstances and whatnot. Also, another note, I am, I have to apologize, I'm dumb as well. Um, that, that rare part back in episode three, yeah, I, I could just have easily walked up to it and grabbed it. I thought that Natalia was supposed to uh, go into a pipe or something to, in order to, uh, to retrieve it. So, yeah, I'm dumb. I've, I replayed that episode again. I just simply walked up to it and grabbed it, which sucked. But, but you know, lesson learned. You know, you can't, can't always, like, you know, see things as, um, as what they are. I mean, some, some are very deceiving than others. Well, without further ado, let's get this ball rolling. 
All right, it's time to kick some Wesker butt again. <laughs> And I thought her brother was a piece of work. Uh, you know what? I bet you that the village would try to fuck with me. Uh, anything in here? No Kafka drawings? Nothing? Good. All right. Screw it. All right. I love the design of this. It's like, uh, what does this remind me of? I don't know. It probably reminds me of, uh, the Matrix, when you have to meet the, what was that, the, the constructor, the engineer, I don't know, they have all different weird names. Uh, okay. I know that, like, in final, um, levels or whatever, you're gonna get some high-quality monsters up in here, so, hopefully we don't have to see any, you know, like, we have, there's a trick to, like, beating... We've been Ooh. through most of these areas. And she's been watching our every step. Stalker much? But yeah, like, I just hope we don't have to fight any enemies where there's a trick to where you always have to find our weak points, which sucks. What does this do here? Hmm. That sluice changed the direction of the water. Yeah, but where? I don't recognize the place. Uh, one change. Let's change it back. I'm not gonna mess with that first, cause like, I don't know what kind of stuff I could find before, you know, I actually have to come back and change it. What is that on the floor? Who keeps leaving these jewels around? Jeez. You know, I feel like, you know, they should make like a mini game of Bejeweled, but with like Resident Evil themes. <laughs> of all the, you know, the stuff that you collect and whatnot. But it'd be nice, you know, at least like, you know, we could walk out of this nightmare rich as hell. Something for our trouble. Oh boy. Something is up with this room. What the? It's too shiny. This is, it, it almost has that too clean look. And that kind of freaks me out. <laughs> I mean, I like the design of the modern. Oh, okay. Notes on transfer procedure. The transfer will take place soon, and my success is nigh. Spencer, you're. You poor, pathetic old man. You spent your final years desperately searching for the secret to immortality, and you died while your research was still incomplete. But I have been continuing that research. The body will age. This is an ins inescapable fact. But we can't escape our death by transferring our mind into another vessel. All of my efforts have been invested into developing and refining the system. I've had a few successes but I still have much more to do before I can consider my work to be complete. As of now, I can confirm the following. The new vessel must be mentally strong and be able to overcome any emotions of fear. Oh, that's why she's doing all these experiments on us. After the transfer, it will take six months before the transferred mind can be stabilized. During this time, the vessel should be protected at all costs. Time is of the essence. I must work quickly. Okay, so that's why she's been hounding Natalia all this time, you know, to... It's like the... She's like a sick version of Elizabeth Bathory, in a way, you know? Um, transferring her mind to a young what one. What do you make of it? I don't know. I just can't figure the Overseer out. It's, it's right there. I mean, we, we know what she wants. That's what, <laughs> that's what she's doing. That's why she's testing everyone with, you know, who's the strongest mentally without, you know, overcoming fear and whatnot. You need to be mentally strong, I guess. What's this read? Neil's report. Stuart, it looks like the most suitable vessel is going to be that little girl after all. The other candidates have potential, but that girl is an entirely different class. 
She is incapable of feeling fear. That's not surprising when you consider what she's been through, getting caught up in the Terra panic at such a young age, having everyone she knew to be killed, losing her parents right in front of her. After experiencing those kinds of horrors, what left is there to be afraid of? The only problem is her age, but that's a problem that time will take care of us for us. She's the perfect candidate for your purposes. So Neil definitely kidnapped Natalia after the Terra Grecia. I mean, even though he was hiding behind Terra Saves' his logo and label, he still like sold us out and sold Natalia to this facility when he should have been protecting her. So in a way, Terra Save kind of failed her in stopping this madness. Thoughts on Kafka. I have a love-hate relationship with this story. Perhaps I can relate to it more closely than I like to admit. One morning, Gregor awakens to find himself transformed into a hideous, insect-like creature. His family is bewildered at first, but they do not take care of him. But they do try to take care of him. Eventually, he becomes too much of a burden to them. Nothing more than an ugly monster, a nuisance to the family. When Gregor learns of this, he retreats to a solitary death. Up until his transformation, Gregor had been supporting the family. Now that he has, was no longer useful, he was a burden to him. They were relieved when he died. I too have been bred to serve a purpose. Once that purpose accomplished, I too would have been cast aside. But I refuse to shrivel up and die in solitude. I refuse to let myself become a hideous monster. You must have felt the same way too, Albert. Uh, there's a gray moral area on that one. I mean, what was that Batman quote? Um, you live long enough to be see yourself as the villain. I see. And it, in some ways, it is true. I mean, with all the hardships and whatnot, and you would think it will make you turn into a better person, sometimes it will definitely turn, in, turn you into the bad guy. Let's grab all this. Best things come in pots. I kind of feel like Link in some way. <laughs> breaking pots, breaking people's pots, breaking into people's houses. <laughs> I thought that was a, an emblem there for a second. All right, I want to check my stuff here. All right. Nope. Oh. All right, and if, if I do miss any emblems or Kafka drawings or whatever, like we're not going to worry about that at all. I'm. I'm only concerned about the story before like, I replay it again. Oh, what do you know? We got, our, we got ourselves our first Kafka drawing. <laughs> Just because, you know, I'll try to get them as best as I can, but other than that, I have no concern for any of that. I'm only concerned with the rare parts, you know, because it'll definitely help us in the long run going through this level or the final episode here. We need all the rare parts we can get, you know? How can I push? Okay, I could see we need to push this. How are we gonna get through? There's got to be some way to reach the other side. Hmm. True enough. Um. Yeah. Some way to push this on. Maybe if I had to like push stuff over. Maybe. Maybe this room serves a purpose. The floor. Looks like this aquarium has been moved. Oh. Good eye, Claire. See? I'm gonna have to push this. Wait. I have to push it from this side. Here we go. Come on. I can't move it when it's this heavy. Hmm. Ugh. Ah, uh, that was my only hope. <laughs> I, I mean, I could see like some kind of switch back there. Hmm. Maybe a crowbar? Oh. Oh. Okay, the water was weighing it down. Gotcha. That makes sense. But, you know, what if you really wanted to 
you know, move it without hurting the fish. I mean, that's just kind of counterproductive, ain't it? Whatever. I don't know these super villains' idea on through. let's hurry on secret contraptions and whatever, but it's kind of dumb. Eh. Okay, one side, one side only. There better be any surprises. Oh boy. So Alex Wesker definitely expects us. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to expect a lot of resistance. Oh shit! We need it last. You fucking bitch! You came all this way just to say goodbye. Oh, I'm touched. It's already done. I've conquered fear and earned the right to become a god. Come out from behind that glass so I can choke a god. All that remains is one final test. One last threshold to cross. Is she even listening to us? My brother's escape was death. And soon, it will be mine as well. I will share in his fate, and then oh. I will surpass him. What are you trying to do? Escape. Oh, whoa, whoa! supposed to be our job whatever you're gonna come back somehow back to the elevator hurry I am not sharing your problems with that nut job you got that right why bring us here in the first place you know if you just wanted Natalia you dumb bitch Escape. There's a passage down below. Find another route. Shit. All right. I'll I'll take that. <laughs> Explore all possibilities. At least I'm not running against the time, you know, or a clock or something. Let's not touch that. I'm sure I messed an emblem. <laughs> Again, we're not gonna be concerned of ourselves with that.
Um, nothing here. I think I'm satisfied with my uh, current stuff right now on my on my weapons. Oh, there's a military box. Oh, come on, Moira. seen any enemies yet. I think that's a good sign. I'm not sure. I think that really is a bad sign because like they'll just show up at any moment in drones. Smoke screen. I'll probably You're right. We can't see it, but there's something in here with us. Yep. Just keep your eyes peeled and go! Fuck, I have to deal with glass in here. So not blame. Oh, I almost ran into that one. <laughs> okay, there's nothing in around this area. Gotta go down. That thing would have followed me anyway, so I'm not too worried. At least I used that smoke screen for a good cause. get down there somehow. Sign there's more glass in the area. That's fine, I'll just shoot widely as much as possible. Oh, 
Hell yeah, Moria. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. That's, every survivalist should say that. We're gonna survive the fuck out of this. I see a beam walk over there. Oh, uh, no. Doesn't lead to anywhere. Jump. Uh, go down here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, good. <laughs> Almost lost tilt there for a second. Damn it! We need to find a way across. How? Oh crap! If I meet any glass, I'm gonna. It's gonna suck. Saw something else here. Right here. Yep. Come on. There you go. Just going. Nothing. This, sh this should be it. Ladder, oh my god. Is there a box? No. It better be not be a box, because I have no time for that shit. Fuck of my life here. Shit, one minute left. I'm gonna die. No. Shit, 46 seconds. Come on, you can do it. I know you're useless, but no, you can't die. <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, I see blood. Don't you fucking dare, Moira! Getting you out of there. Go, clear. Shit. Back. Fuck. 
Fuck. No choice. God damn it! <laughs> what? That was it? Are you fucking kidding me? 